crafty friends this is marissa i am on today to share a little quick tutorial on how to make these scarecrows out of the charcuterie board from scrap diva designs i have the stash right here sorry guys i have them kind of put away oops so sorry i just want to share the size that i used so these are the two largest ones. The largest one doesn't come with the little circle hole. Um, you have to use the separate little hole. So I ended up using the next size. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, depend on how many make, but the gist of how you make these is you'll need two pieces, which is your, whatever your base is gonna be, and then your card stock for the color that you want. Okay, so you run them through your die cut machine and once you have your pieces cut, you can decide which one you want to layer up first. Uh, for the, what I noticed was I used the regular wood grain paper and it was kind of thin. So for this one, I'm going to use this instead and cut my sheet down here because that's all it is. It's just cutting. You're going to um, layer them up. So. It's gonna be a little bit more sturdy. My card stock, this one has a shimmer to it. I don't know if you can tell, but these don't. These are just a tan colored that I used. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of eyeball where I want. So I'm just kind of, it's gonna be about here. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna try to go as straight across as I possibly can. Once that's done, you can just set this apart. Now the other thing if you want, which I'm not gonna do for this one just for the, keep the video short, is you can take your Distress ink and ink all the way around. I'm gonna leave this one without any ink just because I'm trying to show how I'm making this. So I just use glue. Um, you can also stitch around if you like that added look. I did not for mine just because there's already that stitching on the die and I like that look to stay there but it'll still look cute if you do decide to whatchamacallit um, stitch around it'll be super cute for sure okay so now that you have that glued down next you're going to need a piece to be your strip across okay so for that one, I just kind of eyeball it. It's maybe, an, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's about an almost a little, a little less than an inch, not by a lot. It doesn't have to be that big, or you can make it as wide as you want. You can use ribbon. Um, you can make it however long you want. So I'm just gonna actually go like this to see the length of this. So it's about there. So it's about, let's see, it's about five and a half inches across, okay? So I have a ruler down here. So I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, there goes my glue. I'm just gonna cut it down. So that's where it's gonna go. Now, what I did just because I have these glue pieces here, I just ran a strip of tape across there. So I used just a regular tape and I just, I leave a little bit of a room here because that's where I'm gonna slide in the hair. So once I have that down, I'm gonna peel this off. Ah. And then I'm just going to lay this down at an angle, a slight angle, not too drastic. There you go, like that, okay? Then I'm gonna draw, you can draw the face first if you like, but let me show you the hair. So the hair, what I did was, like I had mentioned in the previous video, I cut a tiny little strip. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like super thin because my idea is I'm going to place it underneath here like this. This one I want to do a fun little candy corn looking one. So as you can see, I have the strips glued there. So all I'm doing is I use a little, um, my tweezers here and oh, sorry, I dropped my glue. I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to add a bunch of glue there. If you have the little pokey, the little thin nozzle one, this is the raffia, I'm, or not raffia, the shred I'm using. Uh, and I just kind of 
stretch it out a little bit just because of the length. And then I take my little tweezers and I hold it down and I just kind of glue it down like that, okay? And I just have a pattern going, so I'm just gonna stick to that. And now I need some yellow. And then you trim uh, down the shred to the length that you want. It could be short, it could be long, it could be however you want. And you don't have to use Raffi uh, Raffia. I keep wanting to use, say Raffia because that's what my original idea was. You can use ribbon, you can use yarn, you can use, you know, any kind of stringy type of material, twine, whatever you want. Uh, as the hair. I just had this on hand and I keep forgetting to go buy the raffia, which is what I saw on Pinterest as the hair. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm going to just trim off the excess up here like this. And then I'm going to add some glue here and I'm going to slide it up there like that. So it's right in there. So again, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of glue, not a lot, so it doesn't take that long to dry. Hopefully I'm in frame when I'm doing this. I tend to not pay attention. Okay, so as you can see, I just glued it. And you can see the back. That's what you're gonna have in the back. And same for this guy. I'm using my paper here to catch my glue because I don't wanna ruin my mat. I have another one that I've destroyed. Okay. So you're just gonna slide that in there and that's it and now you have your hair put on okay now you can look at it and stretch it out and then just kind of trim it up however I kind of run it there these I kind of let go crazy just because this is a little bit thicker these are pretty thin but that's what I'm doing now for the eyes I took this part here the circle and I just kind of laid it down in the middle and I took a pencil hey, let me make sure I'm straight with this and I just kind of eyeball where I want my eyes there and I do that and then I just kind of eh, I think that'll be good there actually it might need to go a little bit higher we'll see oh, that's a little off just a tiny bit off there so I'm gonna erase that and start over. That's what I do with the pencil, not a pen. So we can do it over. Okay. Okay, let me just start there and go straight across here like this. I think there's good. Let's see. Oh, uh, that looks better. Still a little off. Okay, then you just take a black marker uh, or your Copic marker and you kind of slowly just color all the way in. Gotta be careful not to go outside your lines, which sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not so much. You wanna cover your pencil too so you can trace that. I'm gonna get a new nib on this guy. He is old. Okay, that looks about good there. Okay, now you just do your little eyelashes there. You can do also, any kind of eye, and eh, that's not working. Okay, now I'm gonna have to make, see this is why I don't like drawing eyes. I do one side bigger, then I gotta, I have to go back and fix that. Okay, so now the nose, here's an idea. Just, I drew a little triangle and I look at it, kind of eyeball, it looks about good. So I'm just gonna go in and basically cut it out. And it doesn't, it can be whatever shape you want. It could be a square that like long wise, I've seen some be um, kind of rectangle looking. And then you just glue it down. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, not a lot of glue. Sorry, I'm out of frame. So I just add a little bit of glue and I'm just gonna sit it down about there. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to add the um, 
the rosy cheeks. What I use is I have this from many, many, many years ago, and it's still pretty good. It's chalk and it has shimmer. I'm going to just pick out a color that, you know, I could do pink or I can do like a kind of rosy looking. I'm going to go with the pink since I'm doing more of a playful um, little character here. And it has these little cotton balls. I'm just going to dab and then I'm just going to come here and kind of look and there's my cheek. Okay. And then I just keep rubbing it up. Oh didn't get that quite well and I'm just gonna rub real hard on there to create my cheeks I don't know if you guys it's coming out and then I'm gonna do the other side it's probably not gonna be perfect but you guys get the idea I'm gonna add a little bit of a dark pink there Ooh, that looks better Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay with that. Then you can take a pen. I take a pencil and I kind of eyeball and I just, you know, draw my little mouth however I see will work there like that. Mm, I like it. Then I'm, I have this Paper Mate pen. It's probably not the best to use for paper, but I like that it works decent on the little, um, this paper because it has texture on it and it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so there's my lips. And then I added extra, I don't know if you guys can see, I added these little dabbies there. So I'm just going to go and add the two dabs there, one over here. And then my nose, um, I'm just going to do a little dab there and a little dab there like that. And this one, I did a whole outline triangle, but I'm not crazy about it. I kind of like these more over here with just a little something there. Now, for the design here, you can do whatever you want. I have, like, this is, I think this is Tim Holtz, like the cheesecloth mummy stuff. And you can just put it there. You can create your own paper flowers. I have these here that I could add. I think I'm gonna make a candy corn die cut piece, but I don't have that out yet. So I'm gonna leave mine blank, but you guys can decorate however you want and um, I hope this helps you to make your own. So thank you so much for watching. And I have a 10% code if you guys want to go um, look at Erica's shop. She has lots of dyes out and they're coming out with so many Halloween um, super cute stuff. But I think this charcuterie board, I want to say she still has it. I know she has a round one too. So go to her shop and check. And I'll link my discount code. It's mwalker10 and you get 10% off. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.